What's up everybody? FNR Kennels over here. So just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the on the Chapo and a cookie litter. As you can see, five healthy puppies. Like I said, uh, three girls and two boys. So the two the two chocolate, the two brown ones right here, they're females. And then one of the little runts is a female, one of the fawns. Which I think it might be that one over there. Can't tell. And then this one's a male. This one right here is a male. And then I think this one's the other male. Yeah, so male, male. So I should get little colors on it. Little colors. Uh, blue, two little blue ones and three pink ones. But so this is a female. Female over there. And female in the corner. And then this is a male. And then this is a male over here. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. They're turning out really, really good, good male, uh, really good puppies. They're they're nice, they're beautiful colors, um, short, compact. Um, this the male right here in the in the, in the middle in between. He weighs uh, four pounds, and then the female over here she weighs four pounds, and then all of them, and then the other three they go for about. Three, three and a half. Um, but just want to give you guys a quick update. Just look at the body on this female. Um, as far as um, as far as um, available, there's only there's only one female available. Um, but the other two people have to make their pick first before I decide. I'll make a, I'll make a video on which which female is uh, left. Um, as but. But as far as right now, the two males are gone. They're um, one of them's my gonna be my keeper, which is probably gonna be this little guy right here. I'm liking him a lot. And um, then uh, one of the buyer actually is buying two of them for me, so I gave him at a good price. And then um, so it's, it's the other male because he's gonna get the male that's left over after my pick, and then he's gonna make his pick um, of the females which everybody's asking for this one right here because they like her paws she's got all, all her four paws are white so they're they're going off of color so she's, i mean i will get that one too she's one of the she's one of the biggest females um and then so he'll probably end up, end up taking the, the the male that's left and then he'll probably just take that female because he already has his eyes on it but he just wants to wait for the six weeks and to make his pick because that's when I'm gonna make that's when I'm gonna make my pick off the two males. So then he's gonna pick he's gonna get the male that's left and then he's gonna make his pick on the females. And then I got another buyer who's gonna make a pick off the remaining two females. Um but as well as him he's going for these two brown ones. Um and then so I'm, my guess will be the the runt which is that female but she's really nice. I mean her head is like like real nice so and her tail is full tail and I like her color she's the, all, all these fawns they came out like cookie and then these two came out more like chapo um, but I just want to give you guys a quick update on them um, kind of cleaned them up I'm gonna clean up their their sleeping area real quick um, they still on the mom I'm gonna start introducing them to to more uh, liquid food probably tomorrow I'll try to make a video on how I do my I'm gonna do that feeding on, on my pups starting off and then um, um, as far as cookie she's doing real good she's um she's 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 gaining back up her weight you know from, from feeding from from whelping her puppies um, I've been I've been giving her um, sports mix mixed with um, I throw every now every two three days I put in some dime um, on her food to make her gain a little bit more weight, help her build more, a little bit more fat. It's just like an extra little supplement to help her deal with the pups. Um, I've been also deworming her, and then I dewormed these puppies this today because yesterday they made four weeks. So I dewormed them. So they got their dewormer around six weeks. I'll put their first shots in and everything, and I'll keep you guys posted. Um, I just want to give you guys a quick update on them. Tur they turned out really great. Cookie! And there's Cookie right there. She's doing great. Sit, girl. Sit. Good, good, girl. Say hi. Good, good. Go over there. Go. 
Go. So, yeah, just wanted to keep you guys updated. Um, they're they're real nice. Um, I I registered their litter already. Um, so their paperwork's on the way. Um, but yeah, just just want to give you guys a quick post, a quick update on them. They all turned out great. All five of them made it. Real healthy. Look at that one. This is gonna be um this is one of the males. Uh, he's probably gonna be the one that's left over. Um, after I make my pick, but. I mean, this is the female too. That's probably gonna be left over. She, but look at her. She's real nice. Look at her head. But this smells nice. But the one I'm keeping is back there. Um, but like I said, um, one of the females is gonna be available. It is. It still is, unless somebody buys it from me. The thing is, I haven't posted them on media. This is uh, the first time I posted them on, on YouTube, and then I posted them on some pages. No, on one page off of Facebook. But that was that was back when they when the when the litter just dropped. That's when I posted it, and and they were gone just like that. Like I said, I only have one one female. So yeah, let me know if you guys are interested on that last female. Anybody, it's up for grabs. I do first come first serve. Um, I don't do deposits. Like I said, it's just first come first serve. But look at her, look at her chest. Look at this little female. See that? They they all came out like chapel structure. All of them did. So, they Choppo and Cookie went well together because Ch uh, Cookie's Cookie's front chest and and and, and blocky head gave them gave them a nice a nice look to him. But all in all, they got they got all Choppo's with. They got all his, his you know they got his straight back. Um, they got nice. They all got full tails. Um, like I said, these aren't micros. These are pockets. Um, um, I, I, that's what I like. I like I like them uh, pockets. I don't and extremes. I like extremes, but I mean, as for right now, my 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 three my three foundation, my three foundation American bullies are all pockets. So I think I'm just gonna stick with pockets as for right now. And then if I do want to move up or something, onto the extreme, I'll let you guys know. But that's that's way down the line right now. Just like my pups, um, but real real awesome puppies. Like I said, let me know if you guys are interested in any of them. Well, on the last female. Um, like I said, they're all sold, and when one of them's my keeper, um, but that might he might be gone too. Um, just depends. Um, somebody wants to buy it off of me, um, but I just haven't decided if I'm gonna let him go. Um, but as prices go, there, I mean, anybody want to come, come hit me up for you know, for 600 on the last female. I mean, I've, I've been giving them, I've been giving them for decent price. Like the guy that bought both of them off, a male and female. Um, you know, he gave, I think I gave it to him for like, uh, I gave it to him for 16, both, so that's a good price, you know, for both, uh, paperwork, um, except ear crops, I don't do ear cropping on my dogs, none of my dogs have them, and I won't do it on any of the pups, um, if you guys want to do it, that's, that's all up, up unto you, I mean, that's what I tell the buyers, I mean, you, I don't do no ear cropping, I just, I'm not with it, I just, I don't think they look bad, I think they look great without their ears, but me as a human, I just don't, I just don't feel the need that you got to put a puppy through it. So, you know, put them asleep, not feed them for 12 hours or 24 hours. Um, it's just a lot that goes into it. And um, at the end of the day, yeah, it doesn't hurt them when it's, when the process is being done, but they, they it could hurt them, the healing process. And I think the healing takes like about three weeks. So I just don't, I just don't want my pups like that for three weeks. Um. That's just me. This is that's how I, I run my kennel. That's how I run my yard. Um, I don't do no 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 tail docking and no ear cropping. Um, I think they look great with their tails and their ears. I mean, they're, they're little monsters like that. Anyways, look at them. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pups. Look at this guy. He's passed out. And then look at my male. Look at my male. It's my male I'm keeping. That's gonna be. He's probably gonna be going to candy. So they're gonna bring out. Hopefully, I try to make. Uh, I try to bring out some pie balls with uh, Candy, cause Candy, she's more of a pie ball. Um, so hopefully, uh, wish me well. Um, but yeah, let me know if any of you guys are interested in the last female. Like I said, the last female is probably gonna be this one right here, laying out flat. Because like I said, everybody, all the ones that have bought a pup already, they kind of want this female. This female, and they're gonna and the guy, the other guy, he's gonna get whatever male I get, I don't get. With, He'll get the 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 uh, leftover milk because there's only two, but everybody's leaning towards this one. And don't get me wrong, this one's awesome. Look at her, look at her little paws. And then everybody's 
they're asking for these two brown ones, these two chocolate ones. So probably more than likely this little this little fawn one's gonna be left over. But she looks she looks great. To be honest, I would take her just because I like fawns a lot better than than than, than browns. But I, I I need to keep only a male, and then uh, if I do need another female, I'm probably gonna search for it. Um, that way I don't I I don't do I try to stay away from uh, inbreeding a lot, you know. But um. Because there's a difference between inbreeding and line breeding, you know. You got to make, you know, there, uh, I'll make another video on that. But as for as for right now, I just want to keep you guys updated. Uh, just dewormed them and they'll get their shots in another two weeks. Um, and then Cookie, she's been getting the warmer. Uh, quick little tip, if you guys are in the summer, you know, down here in Cali, um, uh, watch out with the flies. The flies, the little mosquitoes, um. Just try to set up whatever you know. I try all all, all kinds of stuff. I try uh, fly traps. Um, sometimes uh, I put up my fan, so my fan running like all 24 hours, and it kind of helps them blow the flies away, keep them off a little bit. Um, I do, I do, I do bronco. I got I spray bronco around the kennels, um, and then and that's pretty much it. It helps. It helps. It all that helps. It all it all helps, but I just want to keep you guys updated on it. So there's just one left, uh, one female, and let me know if you guys are interested. I'll leave my um, I'll leave my contact information on the description. But you guys could always reach me on my number, which is six six one three seven seven six three two five. My name's Nick, um, and let me know. Uh, thank you. And it, of course, if it sells, it might just sell. To be honest. Um, because my brother wanted to buy it, but, like, um, he hasn't given me a, a yes or no. But uh, more than likely, he's going to buy it. But as far as right now, like I said, I do first come, first serve. Um, let me know. And if she sells before, I'll try to let you guys know. I'll try to make another video. Even if she sells by tonight, then I'll just... I'll just make you I'll just make a video tomorrow and keep you guys updated. And then if another one, like I said, I don't take deposit. So if another one opens up, I'll let you guys know again. Um, but I'll start, you know, I'll let this I'll post this video up tonight and I'll see how it goes and all that. And then if not, I'll I'll just have to post it on on, on, on my Facebook and see, you know, and see. They'll they'll be gone, but I just you know, it's nothing too crazy. I mean they're going for for cheap prices so you know they're going in between from like 500 um to to 800 you know that's the max i mean you know i'll you know i'll throw it in between i'll do 600 um or you know i might even do the 500 for you know like i said i want to start off small, small anyways um so i think 500 for an american bully pocket it's great. Like I said, I have I have both both the parents. They're mine. I could make another video. I could take. I could shoot pictures. I mean, it's all in the pudding. So I mean, look at just look at them. They're they're they're, they're pocket American bullies. You know, they're saying no, and just wait, just wait. They'll blow up around the six weeks. You know, when you, people start making their picks, I'll probably make my pick around the seventh week, just because I, that's that's what I like to do. Um, but I'll keep you guys posted, and I'll keep another video on it. Um, but thanks for watching. And then like, co comment, and subscribe. And I'll keep you guys posted. Sorry I don't make as many videos as I should. Just a lot of work. Right now is the harvest season out here in California. And uh, like I said, um, it's just a lot of a lot of work. Um, and then I got to come home and, and deal with, with, uh, with the one-year-old. And then my wife works too. And then, you know, it's just a building process. And it's just a waiting game. Um, as soon as I get time, I come out here and, and mess with my dogs, leave them out. But by the time it's like I put them up because I let them run. Like right now, she's been out for like an hour and a half. And then I still got to get Chapo and Candy out because um, they're still over there in their kennels. So, I mean, yeah, it's just a, it's just a lot of time. It's not, it's not that I don't want to make videos. Um, that's why I don't do any uh, editing. I just go off my phone and then I just upload it like how it is Nothing crazy nothing fancy just to make you know, I just you know, just to make it a hobby I guess my YouTube is just a hobby and then right here, you know Like I said, I haven't posted a video on them since they were born just because I don't have time for it as much and I don't really 
want to or need to, you know. I don't need to be pushing my puppies to sell 24-7. Like I said, they sold already. I got one last female left. And that's because I think I have decent prices with paperwork. Um, but that's just me, you know. Don't, don't take it for granted. Like, this ain't going to pay for the years, for the full year of um, taking care of Chopo and Cookie, you know. They, it ain't going to pay. It ain't going to pay, you know, once you take into, like, dog food, the dewormers, you know. Because it's not just, like, one shot or one dewormer. You don't know. You got to keep up with it throughout the year, you know. Um... Like I said, I have my fans running through it 24-7 right now. And in the summertime, especially right now during this week coming up, it's going to be like 106, 105 down here um, where I stay at. So, you know, I have their misting system set up. I go in there with their kennels. I have the fan going. Yeah, I drop the temperature, you know, by 20, 25 degrees, and they're fine. They don't, they fat, they, they pat a little bit, but nothing too crazy. Just most of the time they're just laying on, on the, on the, on the wet floor, on the wet um, dirt, and they're just there relaxing, enjoying it. And then these puppies haven't suffered at all, neither. And like I said, it's just a building process. And then, uh, but I'll keep you guys posted on whatever I do with my kennel, with my yard. If I add a kennel, if I build, I want to build a, uh, like a, like a patio on top of it, like to, to build it, to give it some more shade. That way I could take those tarps down on it. And it just helps with the rain a lot too. Um, but yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. And then if I get another male for my yard or another female for my yard, um, I'll let you guys know. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Later.